Clogged ducts are the worst. And if you're a nursing mom or a pumping mom, or maybe you're a mom who's trying to suppress lactation, you know what they feel like. And this video will describe what they are exactly and how to best get rid of them. Hi, I'm Dr. Amna Hussain, board certified pediatrician, board certified lactation consultant, and mom to two. Today we're talking about a very common topic, but sometimes taboo to be discussed, the clogged duct. So some of you may not know what a clogged duct feels like, or maybe you're watching this before your nursing journey in anticipation, which I commend you on. And if that's the case, make sure you check out my video on how to set yourself up for success when it comes to breastfeeding. Okay, so first off, let's talk about what a clogged duct is. Typically, it has to do with incomplete drainage of a milk duct. Now this could be positional, causing immense pressure on one side, or it could even be a tight bra or shirt causing pressure. It could be brought on by infrequent feeds or an inadequate latch so the milk's not completely draining. But nonetheless, know that it can occur really in any part of the breast tissue. And as you know, the breast is a three-dimensional type figure. So some of these milk ducts might be palpable and they can be superficial and some of them can be a lot deeper. Now, this is where it can become really important to understand why they cause the symptoms they do. When the milk isn't draining properly, you have sort of a backflow in that backflow causes pressure and it can cause some really intense pressure and discomfort. Now, sometimes these can appear like a firm, sore lump, and sometimes they might even be red and warm to touch. Now, bringing up that point, I sometimes get questions about how do I know if it's a clogged duct versus mastitis, or how do I know if this lump is a clogged duct or something worse, like what if it's cancer? Well, know that sometimes breast lumps can occur as a normal part of a woman's hormonal cycle. And if it feels similar to other breast tissue, it's very likely to be normal breast tissue. But if there are any lumps that are hard or noticeably different or painful from the rest of the breast, then go ahead and get it checked out by a physician. When in doubt, we can do something very simple called an ultrasound. It's non-invasive and it really shows us again, a 3D image of the breast tissue and what's going on there. Now we've talked about how some clogged ducts can be superficial and some can be really deep. So how do you get rid of a clogged duct? Well, it really depends on what feels good to you. So oftentimes using a warm cloth or a warm compress or a heating pad on low and applying it to the area can really bring a lot of relief. Another common pain relief remedy is actually soaking the breast for 10 to 20 minutes in warm salt water. You can also take the time to massage it in the shower. So really you can see that it's the combination of heat and gentle pressure, which sort of starts to ease along the clog and really move the clog towards the superficial part of the nipple. Now, it's also essential to consider the way the baby is being fed and how that might affect the clog duct. So you can try changing the breastfeeding position. So the way a baby latches, you can either try pointing the chin or trying to point the nose towards the duct. So you're kind of applying pressure, but also getting suction at the same time from the baby's mouth. Now, some women have been able to actually do sort of like a dangle feeding type situation. So you are able to kind of have the breast over baby and then uh, have gravity and suction helping and then you're able to massage at the same time I'll be honest it's not really straightforward and kind of difficult to do so I say if you're able to swing it this way great but if not you know just know that it is a little bit more of a difficult method now I also get a lot of questions on, is it safe to nurse through a clogged duct? And yes, it is 100% safe. It actually can be one of the best remedies for the clogged duct. Let me know below in the comments if you've ever dealt with a clogged duct and what remedies helped you. If this was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tune in next week for a new episode. Bye.